Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of The Drawing Board. My name is David Frank and I'm your host and I want to start off by thanking you so much for all your support on our Tesseract Dice campaign on Kickstarter if you've been following along and watching this video the day it came out. But thank you, but we're going to go ahead and jump right in and get into the science of our non-Tesseract Dice videos and we're going to just get back to the science and we're going to go to a video that I've been waiting to share with you since I've left Florida, which we're going to be talking about hydroponics and how they work. Growing food can be hard and costly. A relatively constant climate is necessary, as well as lots of water and nutrient-rich soil, at least in traditional farming. We have developed new farming methods the world over. One of those fantastic new forms is called hydroponics. Hydroponics works by infusing water with nutrients, then setting plant roots in that water. Air is pumped up into the water, and between all of this, the plants are known to grow up to 25% faster and 30% larger. Now, different strategies can be used, from hanging the plants or suspending them above fish who eat away the moss and, um, you know, reintroduce those nutrients back into the water after eating them. And this solves a lot of problems for climates that are drier or have had the nutrient-rich topsoil wear away, like during the Dust Bowl here in America. And at the very least, it could very well help solve food shortages. Now, a lot of this footage I've been showing you actually comes from the hydroponics bay at Living With The Land in Disney in Epcot. I've actually spent a lot of time working with Disney over the last year. I was a safari guide at Kilimanjaro Safaris in Animal Kingdom. I did spend a lot of time over at Epcot, though, specifically in the hydroponics bay. A lot of really interesting opportunities there, and it's absolutely a beautiful presentation. and really shows you a lot about what hydroponics can do. That being said, I hope you learned a lot about hydroponics, and if you're interested in seeing more about my time in Disney, you can click the link in the description below and head on over to my Kilimanjaro Safaris channel, which is really just my vlog channel, but it's where I will be sharing some stories about Kilimanjaro Safaris. We don't have many videos up there yet, but trust me, we will have lots more in the next coming weeks. I just wanted to get this video out today if you've been following along, but there will be videos up within two weeks, and thank you again for watching, and we will see you next week when we're going to be talking about ADHD and whether or not you might have it.